being a college athlete, you can juggle your academics and your soccer playing because you've got all the resources to succeed here. If you go to a university anywhere else in the world, you're left to your own devices, you know, and here, because you're good at a certain sport, that support system is, is fantastic. Every school's got different requirements. You've got to hit a certain GPA to be eligible, and not only by the university, but also from NCAA. If you're passing your classes and you're doing well, then by and large, you're eligible. You have to hit a certain amount of hours as well. It's pretty straightforward, as long as you put the work in. As long as we want to do it and we're concentrated, there's no way we shouldn't be able to pass classes and play soccer at the same time. It's demanding. I would say especially so at the Division I level. They have to be ahead of everyone else, and for that reason they have prior registration. They can enroll early for classes over the other 20-odd thousand kids that go to school here. The team has a lot of resources for us, so we have like counselors and we have study hall hours that we have to fulfill. I mean, it's just incredible. You've got full-time staff that are there to help them with every aspect of their academics. I'm majoring in communications, so typically in my semester I'd take four classes. They're not too difficult. I mean, I've got a couple American political science. That's my hard one this year. Don't have a clue about that. Some of my classes are hybrid, which means online and in class. So therefore, that helps me because while I'm traveling, I'm able to like put in the extra work. When we're on the road, I'm always trying to study. We get a lot of hours where coach will say, go away and do some homework. So um, I'll try and keep ahead of my work. I would say the teachers are most of the time pretty lenient about it. They know that you have a certain obligation that it's unavoidable that you miss class. If you give them an email a couple of days before you're leaving, they're pretty cool about that. So it, it works out pretty well. I was a student athlete myself. My schedule was so tight. I used to go from one class to the other and days like this where I did have some time in between, which is rare, I was just to sit down and I forced myself to have maybe 10, 15 minutes where I can just relax. This is to me the, the nicest area on campus. You've got all the resources to succeed here. And you know, I know I was the 1.8 student coming into university and I left with two degrees. So for me, it's very, very possible. I've lived and gone through that. So it's good to be able to relate my experiences with these players as well. And that's what our roles are, because we're more experienced, we've been through this before anything else, we're teachers. We're not coaches, we're teachers, and we're trying to do the best to help those guys graduate. Probably another reason that the US college system, if you're involved in sports, is so way ahead of everywhere else. Not only are you getting help to become a better sports person, but you're being helped with your studies as well. To me, you have to work really, really hard to fail. We have what is a tower card, and I'm gonna show and I'm gonna show you where the tower card is coming from. Put <laughs> oh I gotta cut, I can't laugh. Senior day's our last home game here at San Jose State. Everything's kind of coming to a close. College soccer's been brilliant. It's really made me the person I am today. A lot of the friends I've made will be friends for life. A lot of people would love to play on a college soccer team.